Um, speaking of which, let's do this. British rappers fly to Korea to try Louis Vuitton beef. Korea. Yeah. Korea. Cheers. Hey. We've got a big night planned for you. Yeah. Going out for a very special meal. Something that I haven't even tried in Korea. There's stuff that you haven't tried. Mate, <laughs> we could be here for a year. Try what the fuck day. is Ooh, Louis Vuitton we're beef, dog? Luxury. The place we're in right now is Apujong. Within Apujong. Gangnam, that's the place where like celebs hang out. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, let's go. Let's do this. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. That sounds fucking nasty. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, jeez. Yo, I'm going to go for it. Go. <laughs> it's fake. So, guys, what? <laughs> sit down, grab no, a seat. You guys understand, <laughs> man. Grab this is mad, man. We've got a private room. Oh, so, man. look, guys. Um, gobsmacked. <laughs> yeah, this is literally. It's meant to. I said that I've never done this before. Yeah. Private Korean barbecue. On this level, I've never had anything like this. <gasps> oh my fucking days, mate. Oh my god. He's coming with a Louis Vuitton case. Oh. What is happening right now? <laughs> oh, that's so nasty, bro. I think you don't understand. Korean beef is so much better than Kobe beef. Okay, bro. Fucking calm down. Number one, I love Korean beef as well. I'm a big KBBQ fan, but like, let's fucking calm down here. This is the tackiest shit I have ever seen in my entire life. This is literally, oh my fucking lord, dude. This shit is so tacky. It's so, uh, uh, ooh, ooh. This is Korean salt bay? Yeah. What happened today is Louis Vuitton beef. <laughs> Louis Vuitton beef? <laughs> oh my days. I can't believe this. This is like the Messi and Ronaldo Louis Vuitton <laughs> shot. <laughs> he said, oh my days. <laughs> that marbling goes ham though. I mean, straight up. That marbling is fucking incredible, okay? Yeah, the Louis Vuitton case is gaudy. It's shitty. It's whatever, but like that marbling goes crazy. What we're trying today is Korean beef barbecue or makase, where the chef literally hand cooks and hand feeds Wait, everything to you. Okay, I take it back. This is kind of fire. It's kind of fire. Bro, in, in Japan too, like they fucking love tartar, dude. Holy shit. It's like a flex. They love going flex mode on the fucking, uh, on the meat quality. It's just, I think that's what it is, right? And, and tartar is great. <clears throat> it's not gross. It's fucking awesome. Shut up. Shut up. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. Do you remember how we had Korean beef barbecue in England? That was actually Korean beef style. But you can't export yeah, yeah, yeah. Korean cows. Authentic. Korea is the only place you can have hanu. Wow. wow. Is that got some kind of peanut in it? Maybe? It's not peanut. No? Uni, uni. No, that's sea a umi, bro. Raw beef, highest right? quality sea urchin? Korean hanu. <laughs> it's raw, yeah. The beef is raw, yes. Bro, the amount of fucking steak tartare I had in Japan was like insane, okay? The place, the place that we went to, like, I hate the sea urchin. I think it's, like, disgusting. Sorry. Apologies for those who appreciate it. Apologies for those who love it. Uh, I'm sure that sea urchin is fire. Um, but, god damn, that steak tartare with a fucking egg yolk. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. My sea urchin was eating some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, what's happening? What? Huh? <laughs> That's so good. That one minute there while you were eating that was the quietest <laughs> you've been since you arrived in Korea. I don't get, bro, I don't get to understand, Barney. I got on a plane and I'm here having yeah. Louis Vuitton beef by a guy feeding me. <laughs> Do you know why I love hanging with you guys? Why is that? It's because I eat stuff I would never willingly eat, yeah. but it tastes amazing. It does taste good, right? Wow. The marbling is a bit yeah. and it's wrong on the carrying. I just shot, shot it. Or? No, 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 no. You don't drink that. <laughs> I don't drink that. What we do is. <laughs> Ascended, lad. 
this is fucking be mental. Your to get the meat in. Ah, ah, got you. Never had sea urchin. Never dipped my meat in more eggs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this guy. Oh. I would trust Korean raw beef over American. It's like how our eggs are processed makes it bad to eat raw, but eggs in Japan and Korea are fine to eat raw because they don't over process it. Yes. I mean, it's just like. Dude, taking British folk to eat this, okay? Taking British folk to eat any kind of food, honestly, is like is like taking the hungry, the poor, the starving to eat like any kind of decadent meal. Because by virtue of living in England, they've never tasted anything good, okay? British cuisine is basically boiled chicken and jelly deals, right? Fucking menu. So like... They went from literally consuming the absolute most garbo shit to like top of the line Korean meats. Decadent. It's not fucking bag as a mash, mate. It's not fucking beans on toast. I'm losing my fucking mind, mate. Bitch, you're American. All your food is plastic. Yes, as much as true. American food is pretty much fucking plastic. But having said that, it's delicious plastic. Okay, remember that. American food is plastic, but it's motherfucking delicious. Undeniably. That's the, that's the main thing. Is like British food is, is just nothing. It's, it's just so unseasoned, unspiced, awful. <laughs> the best restaurants in the world are in London, but they're French kitchen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're not English. Oh, my days. This is insane. My dreams have come true. Thank you. Man. There you go. Oh. Ooh, that looks. Oh yeah, I've done that. Oh fuck me. Oh yeah, dip it in the fucking yolk, baby. <laughs> Did he just collapse? <laughs> he just died. <laughs> yeah. I have to try it. Get when it's hot. Rada. Rava. Because mm. the egg complements it ridiculously well. Mm. Bro, Isaac. If it wasn't for the fact I just had a kid, I wouldn't be coming home. Man. <laughs> Bro. You're also married. Oh, you know. Just, just to remind you. Oh, yeah, true. Your wife yeah, probably yeah, will watch yeah. this video. Let's, let's redo that. Cut that out. Okay, guys, so what we've had until now has been the starters. No way. Yeah. <laughs> This is where the main course begins. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Bro, that's, the, that's my shit right there, okay? This is my shit. You're not even supposed to dip this kind of sirloin into anything, okay? Because it would be disrespectful. That's why when you eat this, when you eat this level of fucking, when you eat this level of high-quality fucking beef, dude, you're not, you're just supposed to just eat it with straight salt. That's it. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Okay. Salt and pepper sometimes, but salt alone. XQ was trying to convince Chad that this shit is overrated as fuck. XQC eats his toenails, okay? He can't have chicken nuggets on the side, like, touching fucking french fries or whatever. I don't want to hear about XQC and his taste buds, okay? No. No. That's crazy. Love XQC, but what the fuck does he know about fucking refined palates? This shit would go hard with A1 steak sauce? Fuck you. No. No. Listen. No. You are disrespecting the fucking meat. No. You're not supposed to put anything on it. The marbling itself literally is everything. That's it. It melts in your fucking mouth. There's no explanation for this, dude. Motherfucker. Americans look at this and go, hey, I gotta put some ketchup on it. Like, there is no need for, like, a demi-glaze or anything, okay? None of that. If we're talking A5, if we're talking A5, no need. You can't do that. It is disrespectful to the fucking meat. The flavor is already the flavor is already captured through the growing process of the fucking cattle. You should not touch it with anything at all. Nothing. right there. If you go below A5, sure, you can like That's why that's why if you go to a restaurant and they're serving you wagyu, okay? But then, like, it's in a demi-glaze or something like that. It's probably lower quality Wagyu. If it's A5, it's not supposed to touch anything else. It's just, like, A5 tastes like roast beef. Wagyu is mid. What? What? Ah, stop. No, no butter. It's the... Look, he cooked it the first time. But, like, usually what you're supposed to do is cut off a slice of the fat uh, and, and put that slice of the fat 
and and use that slice of the fat as the as the way to cook it. No butter. That is absolutely absurd. You cook it in its own fat. Look at the flames. Wow. wow. That's it's ridiculous though, isn't it? Alright, so we're getting into the more rich, intense flavours now, right? So to pair with that, we have Bull Rock Stout. Oh, it's so new, right? Hello, my old friend. Oh. Premium meal. We'll have a premium beer. This is it. This is a Korean beer that won the best stout. That looks WBA incredible. Oh my god. Best beer. Bro, that shit looks like it's about to it's lit that looks like it's about to liberate Northern Ireland, okay? That looks excellent. That looks like, oh, oh, that shit looks so good. Fuck me, dude. Oh, I can taste it. God, I do love me some fucking Guinness, dude. It's so good. It's so fucking good, dude. It looks like creamy. Mm. Cheers in the world. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to Cheers. that. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, mm. that's lovely. Chocolate, mm. it's like beautiful. It's like chocolatey. Chocolate. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is amazing. I haven't tried that one before. That's that is incredible. The acetate taste is so amazing. Oh, I'm gonna have to take that? one of those bottles back to England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're gonna need to take some of this back. That's good, Luke. <laughs> you know when we get the loose smile, yeah. when you get the grin. That's good. It's, a good day. it's like coffee and chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Like, just like a, the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. I think most people don't realize that most Wagyu is not actual Wagyu from Japan. Something like Texas Wagyu is not even close to the same lineage. Yes, of course not. Like this is. I mean, I guess I'm a, I'm behaving like a meat snob, but. It's not like as someone who's had it, as someone who's had it in America, like real, uh, real Wagyu in America and like uh, American Wagyu or like New Zealand or whatever. It's not, it's, it's definitely very different. It's, it is. It's just like hard to describe if you don't, if you haven't tasted the difference. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, it's still delicious. It is still delicious, but you will never look at a New York strip the same way ever again. You know what I mean? You'll never look at like ribeye the same way ever again. Uh, once you, once you try these decadent, these decadent cuts. Oh my lord! I, I like it. Definitely fucked me. It did. After after Japan, especially Kobe, and and um and Japan in general, or like uh, Wagyu in general, it. I, uh, you know, when I go to KBBQ, I'm like, ugh, I'm not even kidding. It's just like, it literally, it literally ruins a, a beef for you for the rest of your life. This is not the best date I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to put that in my mouth. Wow. Look at the crust oh, on man. that. Yeah. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 Oh. How have you done that though? Oh. 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 Yeah, you just put it in a little bit of salt. That's it. Oh my That's God. it. I thought that, that, do it for me. Do it for me. I want to do it for me. Uh, uh. Bro, that is the best meat I've ever tasted in my life. No way. Bro. That is perfect. What is I'm not doing? joking. That is Mr. perfect. Jill. Mr. Joe. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Full mustard. Yeah. A little bit of mustard. Yeah. yeah. They put a little bit of like depending on depending on the premium cut. You're not supposed to put anything on the premium cut. But like if it's like a little bit lower than a premium cut or whatever, you can eat it with like uh, wasabi. You know what I mean? Real wagyu is insane, but I can only eat a few pieces, dude. It's it's. I don't know how to describe it, dude. It's like, oh, oh my god. Oh, shut up, man. What is that? Guys, I genuinely, I think this is maybe the best bit of Korean okay, beef. Yeah. Luke, this is your first time in Korea. <laughs> I cannot believe this is your first mouthful <laughs> of Korean barbecue that you're having. It's just, it's absurd. <laughs> that is absurd. If you can put mustard or wasabi on it, you can put ketchup on it. Dude, I, I jail, okay? If I had the power, I would literally throw you in jail. But instead of throwing you in jail, I'll probably just serve the top of the hour ad break. 12 minutes into the top of the hour. I'm a little slow today because it's Sunday. You know what I mean? 
At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. You will go to ad jail, basically, for the next three minutes. Uh, unless you subscribe, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break as long as you subscribe for $5 or for fucking free with a Twitch Prime, right? By connecting your Amazon account, uh, Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you'll get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your fucking favorite streamer. You can also get gifted a sub, yeah, if you're lucky, right? Bro, it's nothing like jail. It's worse. Andrew Tate would be fucking tweeting out of that ad break saying, inside of you are two wolves and both of them are gay. Here's the three minute ad break now, right? Fucking let's go. My my mouth is like actually fucking watering. I felt like I was about to cry. I'm going to say it was Yes. There's so much flavor, you can barely taste the mustard. He's a happy man. He's a happy man. That's the best beef I've ever had. That's the best beef. Easily, easily. The thing is, we've we've had a like Oli. Oh! I've never seen no shit like that, bro. That is all my fucking lord. Wagyu beef cows are very sick, unhealthy animals, bro. The wagyu beef cow. And the way that it lives is basically like the average American, okay? That's it. They get treated better than you do at your fucking place of work. <laughs> they get massaged. They listen to classical music the entire fucking time throughout their existence. They literally are not, they don't move. They are uh, fed a healthy diet. It's not like the fucking, uh, the, the, the foie gras shit. Yeah. Wagyu cows are like literally living... Wagyu cows are living out the the uh, life that like every American uh, would wish they could live. I'm never eating meat again. I'm never eating meat again, bro. It's gone, bro. <laughs> don't want to miss this, mate. You don't want to miss this. Oh my god. No way. Like butter. Like butter. Oof. Look at how easily oh, he cut ridiculous. that. Ridiculous, man. Is, he, is he married? <laughs> Emir Gularhan, thank you for the fifty gifted subs. Yeah, allowing fifty fucking people no longer see the. Ads at the top of the hour. Very nice. 50 big ones. <laughs> You're Sorry, babe. Oh, oh, this is oh, insane. Dream come true level. I can't believe I'm here. Oh, man. Glazing. He's bathing it in some marinade. Look at that sear. It's just perfect. I only need two of those at least. I love that. I love that. I want to teach you about Korean Levi. I'm so excited yeah. to have this chick. You can't dip that shit in that anything, bro. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Come some later. Wow, <laughs> very good. That is what you do it. amazing. Yeah, yeah, all of that. They're about to bring out something else to pair with it. What? Better than that to take it to the next level. Grava cheese. Okay. What? Oh my gosh. Ooh, truffle. Winter truffle. This is real. Oh. This is real Louis Vuitton right now. That's crazy. I, I, that's. I think that's fucked up. Okay. My controversial take is that that's fucked up to do. They're doing that just for the rich, uh, richy rich shit. Truffle is ketchup for the rich. Uh. Kind of. And also, uh, trouble is ketchup for the rich is a good take. And, and caviar is salt for the rich. Okay? It's, you want to know something that's fucking overrated? Caviar. Good caviar is supposed to just taste like salt. Bad caviar tastes incredibly fishy. So why the fuck do you put it on anything? I mean, I guess it has like cool mouthfeel, but that's it. That's it. That's the real overrated shit. The texture is good though. I mean, I guess. But still, it's like not worth. It's not worth. <sighs> you hate seafood? Why would I trust your take on caviar? Um, listen to anyone who knows seafood uh, that will say the exact same thing. No, good caviar is supposed to just be salty. That's it. Bad caviar tastes awful because it tastes like incredibly fishy. What I'm saying is also kind of consistent with seafood in general. Sea urchin. Bad sea urchin tastes super super fishy good sea urchin is supposed to not taste super fishy and that's why people like it 
everything I said is correct. Just because I don't eat fucking seafood doesn't mean that I'm not knowledgeable on these kinds of uh, things. Sea urchin is not like caviar. No, seafood in general is not supposed to be fishy is what I'm saying. I didn't say sea urchin is like caviar. I'm saying that good caviar is not supposed to be fishy, just like all manner of uh, seafood. No, even fish is not supposed to be super fishy. What does truffle taste like? <laughs> kind of like ass. It's good though, but I don't know how else to describe it. It's like very pungent. Truffle tastes good, you troglodyte? I mean, I love truffle. I'm just saying that like, how do you describe, how do you describe truffle to someone who's never had it? It's earthy, I guess. No, not truffle fries. Every matter of truffle you've ever had is fake, okay? You've probably never had real truffle. It's all fake. It's like, it's like uh, wasabi. Wasabi is every part of wasabi. Every time you've ever had wasabi is not real wasabi. Is just uh, radish, horseradish. And the same goes for truffle too. Truffle is incredibly expensive, very hard to find, um, and therefore they don't like just fucking put it on random aioli, you know what I mean? But they've been able to basically, they've been able to basically recreate like the, the I guess kind of the feel of what truffle is. And, um, and I think like, Truffle is its own flavor profile. You can't describe it. Just like you can't describe the color red to someone who has never seen it. Yes. I don't know how else to describe it. Yes. You're right. That's why I'm trying to. Truffle oil is actually synthetic. Exactly. It is umami-like. Um, but it is very... Truffle is, way, truffle is more aromatic, tangy, aromatic, earthy, slightly umami flavor. Yes. God, I love mushrooms so much. Mushrooms are so incredible, dude. All matter of mushrooms. Like truffle, truffle, in my opinion, is is great. Is a great mushroom, but there are so many other incredible mushrooms out there. Like especially in Asian cuisine, that is so fire. Like whether it be the fucking texture, whether it be the taste, whether it be the fucking mouthfeel. Oh my god. Mm. Anyway, like the wood ear. One of my favorites. Like, there's mushrooms out there that basically are like, uh, there's mushrooms out there that basically are like straight up. Um, uh, they they taste. Mushrooms aren't vegan. Wait, what? Are they? Are they not? What the fuck? Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure mushrooms are vegan. I mean, that's so stupid to say. But anyway, uh, mushrooms are decadent, delicious uh and and hardy uh and and some of them actually can be uh a great substitute for carby shit that you would otherwise have like like uh you know noodles you could literally you could you could straight up uh substitute like certain mushrooms instead of like noodles it's great I've worked in a high-class restaurant for eight-plus years, and you still haven't had a good seafood-related take. Everything else is true. Seven out of ten. Really? You're, you're stating that my, my caviar, good caviar, tastes like salt. Bad caviar is just uh, really, really fishy. That take is not correct. Okay. You'll, another classic moment where, like, chatters will debate me on this shit, and then they have to hear, like, you know, someone they respect actually say it, like an actual high-class chef. What's next, dude? My food takes are fire. My food takes are actually some of my most solid takes, in my opinion. That's disgusting. Like that? Is that good? People like a thousand dollars with a fucking truffle on that shit, dude. It's nasty. If you keep speaking, I'll keep grating to two rappers. He had no idea what was going on. We've got the kaibi with grated cheese and black truffle. Jan. Ooh, the truffle melts though. Oh, it really does. Mm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. What are you doing to me? Oh, this is the best meal I've ever had. Ever. Easily for me. Ever. Easily for me. I can't cook a steak again. <laughs> All right, Luke. Uh, 
That's so ridiculous. That is a ridiculous amount of truffle. That is actually absurd. Wow. I love truffles. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally hearts coming out of his eyes. I can't believe we did this on our first night, man. Yeah, what are you doing? You're setting yourself up. This is like, what are you doing? This experience. I think, I think I that like that is, it. yo, Korean food is so fucking Amerabood, like Amerified. That shit is straight ass. I'll say it. Putting fucking cheese on that meat is nasty. Disrespectful. Fuck that. And then also on top of that, then fucking dumping an entire pile of fucking truffle that like eight families of pigs had to fucking scour through the goddamn forest. Nah, fuck that shit, dude. Putting cheese on meat is a whole, it is a whole L. No. Obviously, hamburgers are fucking incredible. Nobody eats just a hamburger. You eat a cheeseburger. Cheese and cheese and meat can be fine. I eat galbi jim all the time. One of my favorite fucking things to eat here uh, is, is galbi jim. It's basically, uh, it's, uh, I forget what it is, it's, but it's like, I think it's like rib. Uh, with, and they put fucking cheese on that shit. And they put, uh, you know, they put like little rice cakes in it. It's great. Okay. So on that front, Koreans know what the fuck they're doing. But, yeah, it's a braised short rib. But, like, don't put it on this, dude. What the fuck? This is literally, like, it's, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You're not, things that you use when you're working with, like, decadent slabs of fucking meat, decadent cuts of meat like this, is supposed to amplify the taste of the meat, which is why they only give you a little bit of fucking salt normally. The fact that you just, like, doused it in such an overpowering thing like a truffle is just speaking to the fact that this is supposed to be the Louis Vuitton beef barbecue. Okay? It's just, uh, yeah, there's no reason. There's no reason to do that. Okay, food enforcer. You guys know I'm like a, I mean, you know I'm like a fucking food fascist a little bit, so. It's like adding whipped cream on a subtle souffle. Yeah, exactly. Just going to a restaurant and having a meal, right? Like, it's like a performance. Yeah. Like, he literally is an artist doing art. Oh, this is right in front yeah. of you. We're making a toast. I think because we say it so much, you yeah. take it for granted. Guys, this is literally what dreams are made oh, of. I'm so happy. Thank you so I'm much so for this happy. opportunity. Okay, let's yeah. see. Taking this incredible culture, incredible food with incredible people, man. Let's see what they Love got for guys. desserts, oh, dog. Come, come on. Cheers. Cheers. You've had a good Korean barbecue right. when it finishes with rice. That looks nuts. Ooh, that looks wow. good. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is that ridiculous. Is what I do is just get a little bit of the soup first. Yeah. Ending yeah. a barbecue meal with a bit of jiggy. So, we'll, just we'll my favorite getting jiggy with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That's interesting. Ooh. Rich flavor. And then I'd get a little bit of this rice here. Yeah. That in the jiggy. There are standards in fine dining. It's utterly pointless to make this a superficial representation of fine dining by adding all the aspects one can find in a fine dining restaurant. Yeah. Um, not a big soup guy. So have no take on that. So that's a bad food take for me, I guess. Awesome. Mm, wow. This is, this is different. You've never ever, you never ever done this with us before. Yeah. <laughs> never. Have. This is amazing. Like the perfect way to end the, like the, per like the perfect way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I disagree. Thank you so much, man. I mean, what a way to... You know what I think is actually a fucking goaded way to end like a big meal, dude? Cheese. Straight up. Cheese is such a good fucking way to end a meal, dude. Like, I'm talking like just cuts of cheese, not like... Mm, cheese and fruit? Oh, fuck. Maybe like a dessert wine? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Introduce oh. us to soul. It's been Thank the best you. meal... Thank you so much, ...I man. can remember having. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Honestly, it's been one of the best meals in my entire life as well. Yeah, we're artists as well. And like, what he's doing- Apps for dessert, you are wild. What he's doing. Like, we are in awe of, of his talent. Yo, this is how I know I'm talking to a bunch of fucking troglodytes, okay? A bunch of goddamn cavemen, okay, in the chat. When I say some shit like, an incredible way to end a decadent meal is actually by having some, you know, delicious cuts of cheese with a dessert wine with some fruit maybe on the side. And you motherfuckers go, that's the, that's the appetizer, bro. Like, you are an Arby's eating American donkey, okay? I don't want to hear from you. Your opinion is null and void. Go eat your fucking $5 jalapeno poppers at motherfucking Applebee's and shut the fuck up. Now, let me tell you something. 
I also ride or die for chilies and Applebee's and all that good stuff too. There's a time and place when we're having a conversation about when we're having a conversation about this this experience. I don't even want to call this a meal, okay? I don't want to hear from Midwestern mommies in the chat going, oh, I don't, cheese is actually an app. What the fuck? Like, cheese? What do you mean? Like the one you shake and then spray on top of your food? Shut up. <laughs> you mean like dipping cheese but I put my tortillas in? <laughs> <clears throat> Shut up, you bourgeoisie pig. Yeah, dude. I mean, listen, this is it. This is, oh, God. Unpopular take, ketchup is ass. It only serves to cover up the flavor of anything you put with salt and sugar fries. Cheap burgers are the exception. Uh, that's not an unpopular take, I don't think. First of all, Americans don't know shit about good cheese, so how can they understand? Um, yeah, that's also true. But, I mean, they got... I, I love sharp cheddar. I'm a, I'm a cheddar slut. You know, call me a cheesehead, dude. I'm a fucking... Call me a... Uh, what's, the, what's the team? Call me the Green Bay Packers uh, stand, because I do love me some fucking... Sharp ass cheddar. I think it's pretty good. Hasanabi is right. Cheese at the end with figs and nuts is the French way to do it. It's good. Yes. You are your most annoying self when you talk about food. Yes, chat. You are chocolates because you are not familiar with elitist kingpin food habits. You're so annoying sometimes, bro. Dude, we're having a conversation about food, and you're you're uh turning into a classist analysis. But what's fucking frustrating about it is like I'm not mad at you for uh I'm not mad at you for being like, oh, I don't know what any of this shit is. It seems good. I'm mad at you for coming in here and being like, nah, dog, you're fucking dumb. You're not supposed to have cheese at the end of the fucking meal. It's supposed to be an appetizer. Like, shut the fuck up. Yes. Like, there's a difference. And by, by the way, I'm joking. Like, I'm I'm fucking joking. Because I'm ride or die for American fast food. You already know that. I already addressed it in the beginning of the fucking conversation. Anyway. Yeah, chatters act like you don't also ride for American desserts and American cuisine in general all day, every day. All day, motherfucking every day. But, like, if we're going to talk about chocolate, okay, as someone who grew up in Turkey, as someone who fucking had, like, you know, Belgian chocolate, for example, um, and then you compare it to Hershey's, it tastes like fucking vomit, and someone goes, no, nah, dog, Hershey's is the shit, I'm going to fucking yell at you because you're ridiculous. You're a ridiculous person. It literally tastes like chemical vomit. And when I found out that it, like, actually was purposely kept that way, it's like chemical vomit deliberately, it blew my fucking mind. Anyway, this is not necessarily, like, and also, we're, we're talking about, like, fucking people living in the imperial core, okay? We're talking about people living in the heart of the imperial core. We're talking about the labor aristocrats trying to fucking sit in their, I guess, comparable ivory towers talking shit about issues that they don't know because they're American exceptionalists who think that they know everything about everything because they live in fucking America. Okay? That's what I'm frustrated with. Jesus Christ. <laughs>